Earn.gg is a website where you can earn free money. If you go to the Earn tab, you will see different providers offering video advertisements, and you can pretty much leave this running all day while you're gaming, and you will receive points. These points can be redeemed for real money, including Bitcoins and PayPal, as well as CSGO gambling websites and even gift cards. Make sure you check out the site down below in the description and use my referral link. Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. I just want to say thank you so much for all the amazing support everyone's been leaving on this series. It truly is amazing to see that. I also updated to 1.12, so let's get some hype for that, which is good because now we can actually do some new things that's been added to the 1.12. We also have the recipe book, which is going to help us out eventually when we forget to do some basic, uh, I guess, crafting some basic blocks or whatever we need to craft. So that's all there for us to eventually explore when we need it. But it's great to be on 1.12. 12 it there's not many changes besides some other stuff like colors but i did go and grind out and i got some new wool this is actually some new colors uh for the wool that they actually they're more vibrant i would have to say but what we're gonna do with that today is we're actually gonna go build a kind of campsite area i had this in the back of my mind for a while and i want to try to do that and i try to find the best area for it and i was thinking eventually we can have it somewhere in the mountains but then i really found a unique little area right next to the stable uh and it's right over there right across over there next to the the water so I was thinking what we could do is we could start to develop a few tents on that side and eventually expand over into the mountain and have another cabin area up there like a little town in the mountains which would be really really cool to try but what we did in the last episode is we got to work on the stable and it turned out to be you know really well done a lot of you guys were saying great comments so I appreciate that but this over here is brand new for all of you this we actually worked on one of the streams and someone actually mentioned to build a truck that delivers hay to the stable and it was a fantastic idea so I appreciate it and there it is. This is the complete version of it. I really, really like it. It does complete this area a lot. Uh, maybe eventually we'll add a few more details to the stable. But so far, it's looking awesome. I do want to fix the flooring here. We'll probably do that during a stream. And if you guys want to catch my streams, make sure you guys hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you guys know when I upload and when I stream, you'll get a little notification. I noticed recently notifications are starting to work more now because I'm actually getting notifications from YouTubers that I'm subscribed to. So that means something is working. Working and the YouTube uh, is starting to fix things up, so that's a good thing. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Let's go ahead and see if we can reach 200 likes for today's episode. That would be absolutely fantastic. So this is the area... I was talking about that I would really like to kind of have some tents around here it'd be kind of cool we can have like a campfire as well and I think it's something different uh, I have not done something like this on a Minecraft so I have a let's play before so this is the start of something cool and that's one of my main goals on this series is to build things I have not built before and to try new things and to not be afraid to try new things pretty much what I want to say I want to just try and, and see what I can create, go creative, and have some fun on here. But so far, I think it's a pretty good area for the tents to be uh, placed down because one, you got a great view. you next to the horses over there. It's not too far away from the town. And also, I want to build a bridge over here that will connect this portion of the map, which is like a hilly area uh, that we can actually do some cool stuff. We can have like an old, rustic, little abandoned town up there, possibly. That would be kind of cool to do. So let me know what you guys think about that. But let's get started. So let me show you, first of all, the new new thing that's been added many of you guys probably already know but the bed you can actually jump on the beds now it's like it's really cool and they have different textures you could do different color beds as well depending on the wool you have so that's something I'm really looking forward to, to trying out. You know, we could do something cool. We could open up, like, a, like a, for example, like a, a place that sells mattresses. There we go. <laughs> but no, we're not going to do that. But that's just the joke because now we can have different colors and stuff. But we're going to start by working on, on making the tents. Now, I have a basic idea when it comes to making these tents. We're not going to make them something extremely big and, and detailed. But something basic with a few campfire around here and some other type of details would really look cool. And also start to add more detail to this world because that's what we're starting to do now we obviously need to continue to develop and add bigger places bigger buildings and more stuff but this is the start to smaller details that I really want to focus on so let's go ahead and start working now I want to place like one right about here it doesn't matter we can start randomly and placing one uh, we can even actually add like a campfire here so maybe what we'll do is we'll add the tent right about here and you know what we can go with the green tent I was also thinking of trying a yellow tent so you know what we're gonna try and use something a little bit vibrant which is we're gonna go ahead and use a yellow tent tent uh this is gonna be interesting i wonder if this is too big of a tent i think we should make it one smaller i think that's the go-to possibly and i should have a shear but i do not do i have a shear on me i think i do no i do not okay no big deal uh so we're just gonna do this the old-fashioned way which is like placing a block let's just place a block of dirt 
So that's easier to break apart. There we go. So now we're just going to pretty much stack this up like this. It's pretty simple. Making a tent is not too difficult. But the only thing I want to do is really focus on the details of the tent. You know, that's the other hard part is really you want to make it look cool. Um, you know, it's difficult, but we can do it. We definitely can manage something. And also, we're probably going to put some sleeping bags in here too. They're not all going to be the same size. We will change up the size. But for now, we're just going to do something like this. Here we go, and I think that will look kind of cool. Just a little bit of structure support right there. I have done a few tents in the past that look quite cool. So this is the start of it, and there we go. It's time, it's turning night, so we're probably going to get some rest as well. We're going to put a campfire over here. Now I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to make a campfire that fire stays. Obviously we need net, uh, nether brick or nether stone, whatever, or brick I think it's called. Um, and, oh, we just did that. Okay, whatever. Let's go to sleep quickly. Let's go, let's go. And look at the horses here just chilling. All right, let's go. Come on. It's definitely turning night by now. And we're going to add a few more tents. We're going to add some detail. It's just the beginning of the episode. And there we go. Advancement. Sweet dreams. So we do have achievement. Why is it called advancement made? I thought it was achievement. Whatever. Uh, that's something new I just noticed. It is called advancement. What? Wait, am, I, am I just dreaming? out? Is this just something? What is this? Sweet dreams change your respawn point oh we can actually do that oh, that's pretty cool so yeah i guess it's called advancement that i thought it was always achievement i guess that's just part of the new thing all right good to know uh so let's go ahead and add a few more tents we're gonna probably use let's put a white tent like right over here we'll put one like right about here possibly and we'll make this one the same size we'll just do it right over here that's perfect and it's not a big deal that it's like close to the oh, let me make sure i'm doing this right there we go it's not a big deal that's too close to this table i think it's perfect because you can go and, and check out some new things which is really great so i don't mind it let me know what you guys think about this idea this kind of came to me a bit late uh but i figured it would be kind of cool and it's something I kind of always wanted to try technically, but this is the first time I'm actually implementing this into my survival world, which I'm really happy with. So far, I'm liking this. All right, let's go ahead and get the fences placed over here. We're going to start off with a basic design, like I mentioned, and then we're going to go off and, and try some other things around here, make the path, add some more trees and bushes around here. But it is it is quite small. These are the small tents. You know, we're going to have to make some bigger tents. These are more for like the design. Uh, and now we're going to have some bigger tents around here. Uh, we can even put one near the water. That would be kind of cool. So let's do this. Let's try to form an area that kind of could be a flatter area for a tent to be placed. Let's actually close this up here. Here we go. We don't need that. All right. And uh, I'm thinking we could possibly... I know this is where the bridge is going to go. So we don't want that to be perfectly placed right where the bridge would be. Let's take down the sugar cane. What we can do is we can probably place it right about here somewhere. Uh, but we're gonna have to like slur like flatten this area out just a tad bit But now that I think about it, it'd be difficult to remove this hill and I do like this little hill here So what I could do is we could possibly add another tent maybe over here I'm not I'm not sure where it'd be a great area uh, Let's go ahead and just place it somewhere like right here It'll be fine if it's one of those bigger tents and we can try to do something cool where it's a little bit not exactly on the flat piece of land. So I think we can give this, give this a shot. So let's go ahead and test this out. Let's see how this would work out. So it'd be something like this. All right. Uh, we're definitely going to have to expand this part of the coast right here, this little area, because we want to make it where it's a little bit more land to work with. It's a little bit small. So we're going to expand it just a tad bit. And eventually, we're going to have to terraform this a bit more. Because I don't have too much dirt on me, as you guys can tell. But that's decent for now. And let's continue to work on this. This is going to be an interesting tent. I don't think I've done one like this where it's, like, inside the ground. And I don't think tents like that even, like, exist where they're inside, like, in the dirt, you know. But whatever. Uh, we're going to work with this. Actually, it should be one wider. We're going to make it a, a little bit wider. And I wish I had my shear on me right now. Because this is going to take a lot longer. If I had my shears, this would be quite a quick process. I'm pretty sure you need shears. To make this go faster yeah shovels the same pace as all the other blocks or as other tools so i guess there's no no need for to get anything else right now so whatever let's just let's just go with this uh we're gonna make it one wider i think that was the plan here we go that's better we'll do the same thing on this side there we go and now we're just gonna continue and it's attached to the hill which is really different uh i haven't done this before so this is new this is different all right cool let's go ahead and place that there and looks like this one's going to have one of those top that's like two. It's like two, two wide on the top. There we go. And I think that's cool. It's different. It's unique. This one's more of like a luxurious tent, a bigger tent. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. We might want to do something here with it, maybe. But look, this looks awesome. I like this tent. It looks like a military tent in a way, but it's perfect. It suits this area quite well. I'm happy with it. What we could do is we could do something like this. There we go. And actually, let's make a crafting table really quickly. 
and I want to try something with the, uh, let's go ahead and put that there, but let, I want to try something with the wool. If we use the wool, we can make some flat carpet. So let's go ahead and grab some flat carpet and do this. Oh wait, no, I want to put it on top of the fence. There we go. That looks kind of cool. Uh, I like that. It's different. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Let's see if I can jump and place it. I uh, know I'm probably gonna have to go on top here. There we go. And one more thing I did have in mind was to even probably place it on the top as well. So that it looks kind of like this. Let me see if I can do something cool here. Um, we're going to need string. And I just realized I don't have any string. So for now, we're just going to leave it as is. But I just realized, yeah, you need string for what I wanted to do. We're going to have to get some string eventually. But this is looking quite cool. We're going to definitely fill in the inside. So this inside will be changed. This over here we're going to place with cart or green wool. So it looks all good inside. There we go. So we'll do that right now quickly. Bam. All right. So that side's going to have some green over there. Perfect. Looking good so far. I'm pretty happy with the progress. Oh, gosh. Do I not have any food? Uh, I think I left some food at the stable area. But so far, I'm pretty happy how this is turning out. Let me know what you guys think about it, by the way, because it's something different. It's like something I'm not really going to use often, but it's really nice to have it look kind of cool like that. Uh, oh, there's my shears. Okay, but where's my food? All right, you know what we're going to have to do here? We're just going to go have to snatch one of those hay bills so we can get some wheat uh, and make some bread. So that's sadly what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to snatch one of these. This has plenty enough food for us. So we'll just go ahead and take this. There we go. Perfect. And let's see how much is that for us. Yeah, 18 is more than enough. Oh, check your recipe book. That's pretty cool. See, that's why the recipe book is really helpful because now you can see how how do I craft the hay bill. So there, there we go. Pretty basic. Um, all right, let's go ahead and make some food. We don't need that right now. Let's craft some food. There we go. How much? Six bread. Not too bad. I'll take it. It's decent. There we go. Let's eat up as we make our way. How are you doing, horses? By the way, we should probably have signs above the horses here that say their names. So, like, list a few horse names that we can use uh, for this area. That would be kind of cool. Uh, but so far, this is turning out to be kind of cool. I really like this. Right here, I want to build the campfire. So, that's what I want to do. We're going to place it right about centered. Uh, I also want to add some type of seating around here. So let's go ahead and make some seating. Uh, what type of seating will we do, though? What type? I think we can use... I think it would be f safe enough to use stairs, I guess. Uh, I'm trying to think what's a better way to try something different, but stairs are really the only way to make something look kind of decent around here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make something look kind of like an L shape here. There we go. We'll have the fire. I feel like that's too close to the tent, though. Doesn't it feel too close? I mean, it's not too close. I think it's fine. Uh, and then what I want to do is in the middle, I want to add possibly like a log. That would be kind of cool. Just a few logs like this. Kind of a little bit safe. Like make it look a little bit interesting, not just too boring. Uh, we'll probably add some leaves as well. But now let's figure out how we're going to do this fire because I don't have any nether. I don't think I have any nether at least. Uh, if I do, it's probably all the way back. But we're not going to go all the way there to get some. But for now, we'll just design the main, like, area for this. Uh, now that I think about it, I would like to make it a little bit bigger than just a little spot. So what we're going to do is I'm going to completely take this down. And I'm just going to build the foundation for where the fire is going to go. Uh, and even though I've been thinking about it, the fire could go straight in the middle. I think that's kind of good. We'll do that. We'll move this stuff, like, right about here just so we can have it somewhere. Here we go. And where is the crafting table? There we go. And I could just put the campfire right in the middle. That to me is kind of good too because then everyone can use it. And over here we can add another tent. So that to me is a better uh, choice to do. So we'll do that. And I also want to get some slabs. I think I have some slabs. If not, I'm going to have to make some right now. I'm going to make some stone slabs. Here we go. Let's use all that. 18. And we're just going to make a big square. Um, we'll do it like right about, let's see, like right about here is good. Let's see, right there. Seems about right to me. There we go. So a little bit. I don't know if that's good, though. Now that I think about it, it feels too, I don't know, maybe too big like this. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to actually take out this, maybe. Maybe that's better. We'll have, like, a fire in there. And then over here, what we could do is maybe we can add some fences. Here we go. Let's just try something. We'll add some fences, and then we can add one of those... Uh, one of those things that you use for potions. I keep forgetting what they're called. Uh, right in the middle, which will be kind of cool. Something where you can cook. We can actually go and see if I have any iron left. I want to make some. Uh, 
There we go. And in the middle, we can connect it. So this is all temporary for now. But I'm going to go and see. I don't know if I have any more iron. I don't really want to go look if I have more iron. But I did see an area around here, which we can go and try to snatch some. I mean, we have plenty of time. This could be a longer episode. But you know what? For now, we're going to work on that during a stream. I don't want to waste more time. Let's go ahead and make another tent. We're going to use, uh, I think we can go with another white tent over here. Maybe we should get some different colors eventually. Let's go with a green one. But I don't have enough supplies for that. It's okay. So for now, we're just going to make this one a bigger tent. There we go. Perfect. And this will be like one of the bigger tents right next to it. So we can add more detail to it. Here we go. Perfect. Same with this side. All right, we'll just do this because now we have shears. So we don't really have to worry about it too much. We can just take them out much quicker, the wool. There we go. Where is my shears? I'm pretty sure I have them. There we go. Let's put one over here. And over here, we just take them out with the shears. Much quicker. There we go. Better. And over here, we can probably just take out the dirt around the, uh, the tent. No big deal. We can just take it out like that. This side is fine, and over here we can definitely add another wool. Same with that, and we'll continue to take out this dirt from around here. That's much better. All right, perfect. And we could just terraform it during a stream. So there we go. It is a bit bigger, the tent, and we could do the same with this tent as well, but I don't know. I don't think it has to be all symmetrical. You know, Not, not everything has to be the same size, but there we go. This is looking good so far. And now we can add the fences. Here we go. Perfect. That Not like that. That's not good. I think it's turning night as well. I can see the daylight is changing. Perfect. It is changing. All right. Uh, this is a much shorter tent, I think, than this one's a bit taller. See, as this one has two levels up, that one just has one. But this is actually looking really, really cool. I'm pretty happy. This one, we might change the color eventually. We could try a different color. Uh, at the moment, I don't have any of the dye on me, but I'm really liking this so far. I'll show you guys what I have in mind. Uh, for now, we'll just make a few. Uh, we'll make at least one bed for the bigger tent, and we'll design this a lot more in the next episode. We'll finish up this area. It's going to be a bigger project, to be honest with you guys. So we'll make a yellow bed. Let's see how this looks. Here we go. It's our first ever yellow bed that we just made, and the yellow one could go inside here. Um, it's pretty big this area. We could put like some type of flooring in here uh, But for now, we'll just do something like this There we go we'll place the bed over there and we can add like maybe a frame or something But I'm not gonna go in detail right now because it still needs to be designed uh, a bit better So as you guys can tell it still needs some work, but it's a work of progress guys This area is coming along quite well. I'm pretty happy We're gonna have to add a few more tents around here some stuff around here as well Definitely another tent here. You know, what? we can actually add one tent over here as well Let's go ahead and do that and then we can end off today's episode. It's a lot of progress, this thing. It's not easy to do something really quick and just finish off a complete new build. Oh, a new recipe unlocked. Wow, great. Uh, all right, so what we need to do is get... Where is it? Uh, let's go with... I don't know. Should we use yellow again? Yeah, we only have one yellow. So let's go ahead and make another little tent over here. We'll make this one a bigger tent. How about that? We'll make this a bigger tent. There we go. And I think if we want to make it the bigger tent, we have to make it two levels high. And hopefully we have enough wool. It seems like we might not have enough wool. Uh, but we'll see what happens right now. All right, let's do this. Let's do the top. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be a bit short on the wool here. I guess, I guess if we don't complete it, we'll finish it during a stream, which is not a big deal. Or we might just be lucky enough to have just the bare minimum. Uh, but I don't think this is going to be a pretty big tent, as you guys can tell already. So let's let's find out. This could be perfect, or this could be too short. All right, I think we're gonna be one. Yeah, we're a little bit short. Not a big deal. All right, we'll f we'll fix it up during a stream because I actually am streaming more of the survival let's play. But this is a really big tent. This could be like the area where you can sign up and do some stuff. I have no idea, but uh, it's just an idea in mind that I'm gonna probably do something with it eventually. We'll close this up over here for now, like this, all temporary. Um, and we'll do this as well in front. There we go. All right. So this is just kind of like a temporary design. So far, it's looking good. This area is coming to life. It's a slow progress, obviously, but it will look really cool once it's done. We're going to add a lot more details, smaller trees. It's going to look really cool. It's also going to be a little bit overgrown. I want it to be a little bit abandoned sometime, a little bit, because as you walk in this area, I want that abandoned town to be over there, which would be kind of cool. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to share this with anyone else as well. Uh, and by the way, let me know any other feedback or ideas you may have in the comment sections. I would truly appreciate that. Make sure you guys go ahead and do check out the description. I have a lot of links over there you guys can go follow me on other social media like my twitter and instagram and don't forget to go and check out the dead mc stay tuned for more minecraft survival let's plays my name is alexon and peace out